The Brighton Stakes is next then. And there's a field of just seven for this one. And it's a 10 furlong listed race for two year olds. And the top one is Letham Diamond for David Robertson Cavalier for Jim Murray. Daddy Cool for Alex Since All three of those won last time out. No small change for Craig Beck with Tie Up Muster for Alex Ince. Dan Hughes has got Roaring Hawk that one last time out as well. And a sequel eclipse for Craig Allen is number seven. So some pretty decent looking four figures for these then. They're in the stalls and they're in the rain again. And away they go. And it's going to be tie up muster, is it? It's going to try and get out first. There's a Jim Murray horse towards the rail, though. And he's got a lot of front runners this season. And that one is Cavalier. And Cavalier is coming out with a Cavalier attitude and wants to lead. So Cavalier's in front then from tie up muster on the outside. Then comes Sequel Eclipse back in third with no small change on the inside. Then Daddy Cool and the two greys flanking him are Letham Diamond on the inside and Roaring Hawk on the outside. Inside the final mile already. And tie up muster has taken it up as Cavalier. It's just been held on to in second. Sequel Eclipse is third. No small changes fourth. And then the back three are all in a line. But Tyop Muster leads by half a length to Cavalier on the inside. Gap of a couple then back to Sequel Eclipse, who's a length up on no small change. That one's two lengths up on Letham Diamond, Daddy Cool, and finally Roaring Hawk. But as we saw in the previous race, you don't necessarily need to be in the lead for the whole of the race to win it. And if anything finishes with the speed that that was finished in the last race, even though he didn't get up to win, it got very close, didn't it? And it's Type Muster is in the lead at the moment. So Type Muster is in front from Cavalier in second. Sequel Eclipse is third, and then No Small Change is fourth. Roaring Hawk getting a bit closer now in fifth. Then Letham Diamond, and finally Daddy Cool is now the back marker. So it looks like Alex Ince has got first and last at the moment. And it's Toy Up Muster that's in front with now no small change coming through to make a strong looking challenge as they pass the three pole. Toy Up Muster still in the lead. No small changes now moving into second. Cavalier on the inside though battling back. Sequel Eclipse on the outside hasn't made its move yet. Letham Diamond and Roaring Hawk trying to run on Daddy Cool being switched around the outside of the pack. But it's Toy Up Muster who's still got the lead on the rail inside the final furlong and a half now then. And it's Toy Up Muster from no small change in Cavalier, Letham, Diamond and Warren. Hawker coming through, so Sequel Eclipse has dropped right out of it, but it's now Small Change has gone on, no Small Change from Cavalier, but here come the Greys, Letham, Diamond and Roaring Hawk, as they're racing up towards the line, it's Roaring Hawk who's got to get up and take it, Roaring Hawk is going to win it from Cavalier, Daddy Cool, no Small Change, Letham, Diamond, Sequel Eclipse and finally tie up Muster, and Roaring Hawk came through with a well-timed run, uh, Cavalier stuck on for second and once again the horses from the back running on well and the long time leader ended up at the back last so Roaring Hawk takes it that looks to me like a Dan Hughes horse with Cavalier second for Jim Murray let's get a full list it is indeed Roaring Hawk for Dan Hughes the winner Cavalier for Jim Murray second Daddy Cool for Alex Ince was third no small change for Craig Beckwith fourth and Letham Diamond for David Robertson was fifth